And welcome to your Gold Market Update Charts of the Day for today, the 12th of December. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets with you to take you what's happening across the news wires today. Of course, on Friday, we saw a late sell-off on Wall Street to end really what was a very poor week for equities. Part of the reason for this was the US PPI data came in a little warmer than expected. That's fueled recession fears to a large degree. And of course, there is a degree of market caution as well. We've got big data this week that's going to dominate sentiment, notably the US inflation number tomorrow and the Fed interest rate decision on Wednesday. US futures are slightly higher in early Asian trading, though they've slipped a little since open. And Asian indices are following that weaker US lead from Friday. The ASX is down around about 0.7% with only the real estate sector positive out of the 11 sectors. European equity futures are suggesting a very slightly positive open later, but there's plenty of time to go before we get to European equity market open. In the FX world, the US dollar index was slightly higher on Friday on that equity weakness to end the week near neutral. It is higher in Asia against all major currencies. Despite this USD strength, gold is still testing that key 1800 level. Oil is pausing today after a drop throughout last week, still around year-to-date lows. And copper is down in Asia after a strong week again last week, just getting a little bit of a sell-off in risk on assets. We're seeing the VIX also edge slightly higher on that equity weakness. Again, that's along with everything else is likely to move significantly over the next 48 to 72 hours. Bitcoin is trading in a very tight range between 1700 and 17200 at this stage. Very little buying pressure comes in, but there seems to be a happiness to support it at where it is right now at this moment in time anyway as you've already referenced it's really all eyes focused on the us with that fed interest rate decision and us inflation today there's very little coming out outside of the uk where we've got gdp manufacturing production and trade balance numbers all coming out so it could be a quite a big day for the gb pound and the FTSE potentially outside of that we would expect caution to be the order of the day couple of charts to keep an eye on if we look first at a2 milk on the asx one of the slightly bright spots uh, you can see this is continuing its run up towards seven dollars we thought that 1750 was a reasonable price target on this in the medium term and there still looks to be some buying going on we had a very strong down friday one to continue to keep an eye on in the fx world some weakness in the yen this morning and we're looking at the euro yen with a potential interesting level at around about 144.30 you can see there this looks quite important historically uh, we had it resistance here and support on a couple of occasions through october and early november looks as though we could push towards that line again we are trading slightly below it at the moment you can see there we are around about 144 if we breach 144 we we can expect a test of 144.33 we would suggest and then upwards from there perhaps but whichever way you slice it i think caution is the day there will be some movement in particularly indices and currencies we suspect uh, but these movements are likely to be choppy so please take care in these market conditions trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now